Hey everybody, it's Pastor Doug Zirkel from Mission of Grace in Hayden, and we're going through our little series of Finding Peace, and this should hopefully wrap it up today. In Philippians chapter 4, starting with verse 4, Paul, who's in jail, reminds us, Rejoice in the Lord always. I will say it again, rejoice. Let your gentleness be evident to all. In other words, no matter what, just rejoice in the Lord. When he's talking about letting your gentleness be evident to all, he's saying, look, calm down, be cool. God's got your back. The Lord is near. God is always with you. Verse 6, do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God. In other words, don't be worried about anything. I mean, nothing. You say, well, I have to worry. Well, you can be concerned. We're all concerned about things. There's nothing wrong, of course, with being responsible. We should all be responsible and take action when we're in situations that we need help with. However, I'm talking about Paul saying, look, stop worrying, stop fretting, start, you know, uh, concentrating on God and focusing on God rather than uh, getting yourself into this frenzy and this fit that you just have to take over. Like if you don't solve the problem, nobody can solve it, especially God. And what God's trying to say is let go. Don't worry about it. Trust me. Pray about it. Give it to me. He says, and if you do, after you present your request to God, the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your mind in Christ Jesus. Don't, want, don't you want your mind guarded by the power of Jesus Christ and your heart got, uh, guarded by the power of Jesus Christ? you got to give God everything. You've got to trust him. You've got to stop freaking out and acting like you're God and only you can fix it and it has to be fixed your way. Sometimes we just face unexplainable problems. They're so great, we're not even sure how to explain them. We're, we're bedazzled by them. We're like, I, this is too complicated. And so we start to worry over it, trying to fix it ourselves. Like when Moses and the Israelites came up against the Red Sea, they had Pharaoh sweeping in behind them. And in front is the Red Sea. They have nowhere to go. What did they do? They cry out to God, their unexplainable need. And you know what he does? He provides an unexplainable solution. You need to have him give you that unexplainable solution that only God can give. That results in two things. One, a peace you can't even understand. You know he's got it. And two, based on the request you make and you don't know what else to pray, just say, God, whatever, would you please be glorified? And if God's glorified, whether the problem is solved the way you want it to be or not the way you want it to be, if he's glorified, it's good. That's what it should be. Whatever it is that glorifies God is the request we're making. And when we do it, his peace intercepts our life. It transcends our thinking. It enables us to go about and say, man, I can't even explain this, but God has come through. He's helped me again. I hope he helps you. I hope you find that peace you're looking for. Go back over these little last four little things I've done and know that, uh, uh, this little passage is packed with a lot of wonderful, powerful, glorious information. Okay, well, don't forget that I will uh, be preaching live uh, stream on Sunday morning uh, for Mission of Grace, and that'll start at 11 a.m. So if you can join us uh, in Colorado time, that's when we're starting, and you're surely welcome. Anyway, God bless you guys. Have a great day, and I'll talk to you next time.